Hey everyone, this is the, this is my review, this is the intro to my reviews of the television sitcoms, um, television sitcom episodes, episode, episodes of Sydney to the Max, Cooper and Cooper and Candy as the world. This is my review of two of their most recent um, episodes. This is also the first in a new series of videos I'm going to be doing. When it comes to new premieres on Disney Channel, since I'm a huge fan and huge watcher of the brand new late 2010s and 2020s Disney Channel, I decided to, um, whatever my, my favorite shows or favorite shows or Disney Channel movies have a new premiere, I'm going to do first a live post post episode or post film reaction and review then later in the future my stereotypical audio narration reviews then of course in the future the video commentary based reviews but this is the live action review of this is the live action review of um Sydney to the um of episodes 18 and 19 of Sitting to the Max. 18 premiered two weeks ago, which was that was um, the episode with Olive's brothers and the Alley Fighters video game. The then you had episode 19, which was yesterday. I just got done watching the the hour long. I just got done watching my third the third encore presentation of the show of the show today of that episode today. There will be a fourth one tomorrow. Um. What's his name? Then you have the Cooper and Candy Ask the World episodes. You have the last one, which I, which um, would you rather be Ragnar's, which was okay, wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad either. Then you had episode um, would you rather date someone else, which was for the most part good up until the finale, up until the uh, finale of the, the 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 final scene of that episode, which I'm going to talk about in part two of that um video so with that being said let's get started right now Crossover series between Raven's Home and Bunk, which was titled Raven About Bunk, which I must say, I must say, while while I didn't really like, I liked this crossover, but I didn't like the two shows that were crossing over. You were crossing over Raven's Home, one of the best shows in a while, with with Bunk, in my opinion, one of the worst and most overrated sitcoms ever um, created. I really wanted Raven's Home to cross over with Sydney to the Max, Cooper and Candy, and Gabby Duran, but even though all of those shows are created by It's Alive Productions, I don't think they're set in the same universe. So, unfortunately, Raven's had the, um, had the, I had the crossover, Raven's Home had the crossover with this, with this show, but I must say, Raven's Home 
may bump, bump more tolerable. And bump as terrible as it is in the latter seasons because they got new riders. They got new riders and got rid of all those, um, and got rid of the Ross kids. They got rid of the Ross kids. And lots of the, um, lots of the terrible stereotypes are kind of gone, are kind, are kind of, um, kind of gone. Now you have just super exaggerated stereotypes, which I'd much rather have super unrealistic, exaggerated stereotypes over stereo, over unrealistic, stereotypical stereotypes that you saw, negative racial stereotypes that you saw in the previous versions of Bunk and the Jesse television, um, show, television, um, show, but this has been the best, and, mo and the best, and most exciting episode of, um, Bunk. The p main plot was Tess getting accepted to Camp Champion, the getting accepted to Camp Champion, getting accepted to Camp Champion, and, um, and, um, Raven getting lost on the road, and they end up stopping at, um, Camp Kiki Waka. Can't be Waka and while Tess goes to Camp Champion, Booker, Mia, Booker, Mia, and Levi agree to go to Camp Kiki Waka. Camp Kiki Waka. Um, I keep forgetting how the plot unfolds, but they all split up. Of course, you know Tess. Tess hangs out with um. Tess hangs out with Ava. Hangs out with her counterparts. Ava. Hangs out with her counterparts. Ava. Um, Gwen, and of course, um, Gwen, and of course, Finn, and then Mateo, Le Le Levi hangs out with his counterpart, counterpart, Mateo, and Booker hangs out with his counterpart, um, his counterpart, Booker hangs out with his counterpart, which is, um, Noah, Noah, um, Noah, um, in the, in the main, in the main plot, um, um, Ava, Ava and the gang wants to get back at Camp Champion by coming up with a prank, and they come up with a prank to create a state bomb, so she enlists the help of Gwen, 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 and, uh, Finn in Booker's plot, Booker and Noah bond, and they want to bond with Levi and Mateo, but Levi and Mateo, because of their intelligence, think Booker and Noah are just are just two dumb guys who are getting the way and they're not needed for anything. And they're not needed for anything until um Levi and Mateo's plan completely backfires. Completely backfires. Completely backfires and they can't get it out the door, forcing them to use it. How the Booker comes up with the plan to use it to get rid of to um to fan away the stink bomb smell. The stink bomb smell that that Finn and them accidentally create, which contaminates the entire camp. Meanwhile, Raven, Raven and um, Chelsea hilariously bond with Lu, with Luann and go on trips where her pig, who they keep thinking, who they keep who, their pig, who's Lu, Luann's a running gag, and she keeps saying her sweet derriere, which is the name of her uh, pig. Luann doesn't hear that joke. And the, at the beginning, they keep thinking she's talking about her butt, but she turns out she's talking about her pig. And they keep telling her why she doesn't hear it, why she doesn't recognize the joke or hear it until the end, until the end of this, till the end of the um, special where she does, um, it, where she does um, end it, and her pig gives birth to several pigs in the car where Chelsea utters a hilarious line. Raven, you don't know. You're not back here. We have to make some really hard choices. Um, What's his name? And then, um, and then, um, after, um, the day is saved, everybody celebrates by seeing a Milo Mayhem, which appears in all Disney Channel sitcoms, We Own the Summer song. After a great time at Camp Kiki Waka, everyone, um, Raven invites them home to Chicago. Booker gets a vision of them, uh, of, um, Finn setting off a stink bomb in Chicago, it's, uh, uh, in Chicago, and everybody running away, and Booker says no, comically says no, no, no. Yeah, I don't remember the plot or all the details, respectively, but like I said, this is a post-reaction, a post-reaction and review, not a full in in-depth review, but this was a pretty good special. It made Bunk one of the worst sitcoms ever tolerable. This was the most exciting episode of Bunk. Bunk, has, like I said, has been a best show since those other actors have leave. A lot of people say it's cringe with the new actors. Bunk and Jesse were always cringe and terrible. Cringe and terrible with, um, 
with the Roz kids, Xander, Ch Xander, um, Hazel, Xander, Hazel, and all those um, kids. It was always, um, it was always cringe and terrible. But I think it's slightly better now. They got the writers from Andy Mack. They got the writers from Andy Mack and other shows on there. So like I say, a lot of the racial stereotypes are gone. Now they have, um, now they have just exaggerated stereotypes, exaggerated stere exaggerated unrealistic stereotypes, which I much prefer those over racial stereotypes. But it's just a show about camp and the plots are formulaic and boring. And, and since it's a camp show, it takes place either in the woods or at the camp all day. Who wants to watch a show about that? But this special made the made the made the worst show more made the worst show more tolerable. This was the most exciting home. Like I said, Raven's home, one of the modern saviors of Disney Channel. This new exciting era of Disney Channel happened because of Raven's home and the other show, Andy Mack. After a bunch of cheesy, dumb sitcoms, finally we got some um we got a, we got some serious sitcoms that tackle serious issues while also still being entertaining, and that's what we're getting nowadays. More quality programming, and it all started with Ravens Home and Indies Mac, and they made the most tolerable show. What you call? Of course, yeah, they group these shows together to get more ratings and views on Bump, on Bump. But um, yeah. But so yeah, this was great. This was um. This was a great, um, what's the name? Like I said, I was I was looking forward to it. But I didn't like the two shows that were crossing over, but I've been looking forward to it since it was announced. And it did disappoint. And I always try to watch it when it's on. When it's um, on. Sorry this took so late. But I keep forgetting this is a post-reaction review, so I don't have to be in-depth about everything. But I am sorry this took so this took so long. You don't want to hear the rest of the music. Turn the video off right now. Mm-hmm. 